Nick, what is your message to the X-Files fans over the last 30 years? Oh boy, my message to the fans is um, I am constantly and constantly uh, knocked out by the energy of of, uh, of the people that, that love the show. And they come from everywhere to, to see us at events. And um, their support is what allows us to have careers and what allows us to do beautiful trips to fantastic places. Uh, and everyone always is kind and gentle and respectful and easy and fun and fun to talk to. And um, like I, I, it's one of my favorite things is to come to these things and just and just chat with people about them and their life. I don't like talking about myself that much and not that interesting, but talking to people about themselves is is always cool. Like I'm fascinated by people, and X Files fans are special people. So, um, why do you think that the X Files remains so popular over 30 years? New generations, old fans, people watch it as their comfort show. A lot of things we hear is when people are going through hard times, they put on the X Files. Why do you think the show resonates with so many people over so many generations? You know, I, I think there's a number of reasons why the show continues to resonate. Like I, I did, we did Zoom calls the other day, and nobody was over um, 24. You know, also there's, and then there's young kids coming up in the line to to speak to me, and um, you know, it's a really good question. I think that the subject matter obviously is kind of relevant um, and continues to be because it's. It's, um, it's not only about you know what scares you, but it, and, and what what could be under the bed, but it's also about politics to some extent and the things that people will do to 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 you know um, further their their needs. Um, but I you know I think great storytelling. It's, you know why why do people still read Shakespeare? Why um, is Tolkien? so still so so popular you know um, and game of thrones wouldn't live without tolkien right so um you know if you tell a story well um and it's a fantastical story that people can get their hands around and really understand it'll it'll live forever that, but the x-files wouldn't be nearly as um long lasting as it is were it not for the people that actually put the show together you know i was talking to somebody today about the idea that you know within a within one week of an episode which is a, was a seven day shooting sometimes eight day shooting schedule they went from um you know a fishing boat in the middle of the pacific to arlington cemetery in washington to hong kong to x you know on and on and on and on and, and that uh, that was done at a time when the show didn't have a ton of money and it was just ingenuity and blood, sweat and tears and creativity. And uh, the, the, the people that really made that show, and I, and I don't count the actors in that group, I talk about the producers and the set designers and on and on, uh, those people um, created something obviously very special, but uh, and you talk about the idea that, that it, it gave people something to hang on to and sometimes perhaps in their lives when they, when they needed something. And I am forever bumping into people who talk about <clears throat> um, uh, a really challenging childhood, for example, or a house where they never f didn't feel comfortable or, or taken care of or safe. And yet, and that show was, they could tune up the world and invest in those characters and, um, and um, it took their worries away for an hour. And I, have, I bear no responsibility for that, but I, uh, I am proud to sort of have one small little, be one small little cog in a very big wheel. Um, and it's just a story well told and well told stories that, that people that the makers invest in uh, will always last.